radio as uh, planned. I'm going to try to take up those weekly updates on Sundays of all my projects again. And uh, the, I, the light situation is not ideal today, but we roll with the uh, with the oars we have, as we say in the Netherlands. It's a Dutch saying, meaning we will make it work. This is my sock quilt. I've started quilting it. You can see here I'm doing that with a zigzag because I want it to look. I wanted to keep it down uh, a bit more secure, and a zigzag is a nice way to secure edges with each other. I'm planning to do that with purple and yellow, so it's nice and bold. The same purple, they the same pink and yellow as the as the socks. Okay, this is the donation quilt. <laughs> as you can see, it's almost ready. You always uh, compile a quilt like this in stages, like um, in squares and bigger squares and bigger squares and bigger squares. I have two sets away from finishing the top. So when these are together, there's one more left to go. I will keep you up to date. This is the redemption quilt you know about. I've been quilting the lines close to each other and I think I'm about one third done. I was very very much going ahead but then I ran out of thread and you know uh, then sometimes you have to wait until you find new ones. This is uh, some ties I got from the second hand store because I made a deal with them. They give me materials they can't sell and uh, I'm trying to develop a third lesson where uh, it, it's called Cultify Everything and in that lesson you learn how you can make quilted items for your home and I'm, I'm experimenting on my floor whether I can use these for uh, basically your plants are in a pot and it will be a coat for them because as you can see my plants are doing amazing but they are in yogurt tins so I'm going to make a plant coat here. I can also give an update on my plants. This is the grape. It's going amazing. It's going better than expected. So I put a stick in it so it has something to lean on. These are my grapefruits. I should actually make them go into a different pot, but I haven't found time for it yet. More uh, peppers. These are, I think, uh, this was a uh, miniola and unexpectedly there are very little ones here. So I have to repot these as well. This is my date. It kind of stopped growing when I gave it a stick. I also wanted to give it a stick to lean on something. Uh, it's slower now, but maybe that makes sense. Uh, I don't know. And this is my uh, food forest tree. It's so much in bloom because it's getting better weather in the Netherlands. I love it. Okay, next project. This bag I finished. It's two-sided with different colors. It's finished, it's made with uh, pillowcases I had lying around. This is uh, an embroidery I'm working on. Because I want to see if we can make embroidery and quilts work together in a very cool way. And this is the biggest project I'm working on now. It's called Along the Line. I'm making a quilt that's both an exhibition quilt and has a function. And I will reveal later what the function is, because this one isn't finished yet. And this is the last project I wanted to show you, because I think I've showed you along the way. It's almost finished. It's like a cushion for chair. It's more fun like this, right? Because the white ones are boring. I think these are the projects I can show you now. So we're done quickly today. Bye-bye.